my gorgeous birthday scrumptious delicious Gemini welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for you and your person baby whatever that means to you situationship relationship <laughs> bumble date marriage oh my darling let's see oh the heart font okay so this card just aggressively flew out of the deck we're also bring, uh, breaking in some new cards uh, that we got in Gibraltar from the local witchy store mm, shout out to uh, the gorgeous um, witch we met <laughs> uh, but but we, you got the higher font. Okay, someone's missing you. Someone's missing uh, six of um, six of cups at the bottom of the deck. But this higher font just like flew out like aggressive, like aggressive. Someone is mad at you because they miss you. You know, they wish things could go back to how they used to be. Look, Gemini, all these cards are flying out. So look, um, also eight of uh, eight of uh, cups. Someone wishes they had never walked away from a situation. I think it's your person. They wish they they had fought for this, even if you walked away. Um, and also, you know, these energies can't switch cross watcher. They they wish they had fought for this, or they they wish they hadn't walked away from the connection. Let let's see what is going on here. Uh, so yeah, Gemini. <laughs> We always assume this rift or separation in the U versus them readings, but I do feel like your little boo boo is like, man, not in a good place. I think a lot of changes, changes. Whoa, I also cannot uh, speak. That's so funny. Um, changes are happening in your person's life. You know, it's almost like they are maybe, you know, struggling to make sense of their situation. You do have the star at the bottom of the deck. So they do still feel like, you know, there is hope. They want to feel like there's hope in this love connection. We'll see. Also, Gemini, uh, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot if you're new. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mommy's back, baby. Gemini, you know that I am Scorpio Sun and Rising. I'm super intensely in love with my Gemini. Bibbs, you're my little lucky star. Uh, and that star is coming up. So thank you, Gemini, for bringing me luck, for loving, uh, for, all the, for loving me. Those of you who love me, if you hate me, it's okay. I don't mind for uh, sending love to, to me and to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I am your biggest fan. So yeah, mommy's back. I've been on hiatus again in November. Uh, just like a lot going on, uh, but we're back on track. Um, we're actually going to start posting like at a specific hour every day. It's gonna be in the evening uh, Pacific time. Even though I'm in Gibraltar, we're gonna uh, schedule it on Pacific time just because it's easier for everyone. Wheel of Fortune. <sighs> Things are, look, look, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is luck. It should be, you know, once luck turning, people, you know, coming into their own. But this is not the energy I'm getting from this card. The energy that I'm getting from this card is like, your person is getting their karma, like right now. This is their energy right now. And also their feelings towards you, you know, Two of Cups and how they see you. So it's someone who wants to change a situation. Uh, someone who, I mean, look, someone who sees you as the Two of Cups is someone who loves you. Uh, and it's like a beautiful deep soul connection. It's not just, it's not about lust. It's not about power. It's not about let's get back together for the kids. Someone who like deeply, deeply, my baby loves you. Because you're scrumptious. Everyone knows Gemini is scrumptious. No wonder. Okay, you've got the judgment. Cards are flying. The cards are flying for you, and I'm struggling to speak. So awesome energy here. All right, let's see. Please show me angels. What happened here? Yeah, someone was really hot-headed. Someone made a very hasty decision about a situation that they now regret. It's like they're getting their karma. It's like nothing is going their way. There's a lot of there's also a lot of changes in this person's life. I know I said that uh, already, but it's just like very strongly. I feel like there's a lot of changes. Maybe not for the best. Okay, not saying it's their karma because they pissed off the Gemini, but I'm just saying, just saying. All right, baby. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We do not wish that upon people. Uh, yeah, there's, you know, there's, a, there, there is a struggle here in uh, keeping this, uh, the momentum moving in this connection. Uh, you got the chariot. Someone, um, you know, you, uh, lucky star, baby, the star. Someone got their dream thing. The, their manifestation came true. They got the Gemini, and then when they had the Gemini, they didn't appreciate you. See, they didn't appreciate you. This is hard work. This person chose work, chose money, chose other duties, other responsibilities over you, but no. Not gonna lie, also hot head, very hot headed energy. You know, someone who was very lusty, if it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone between you out on, on a Tuesday, but Bill, they were like, Gemini. <sighs> I gotcha. You know, like they were like, I ah, get the Gemini, I get the Gemini. And then they didn't quite know how to like proceed with the connection on a more spiritual level. They really struggled with the spiritual part of things. And judgment here is someone who is like really, really edging to come back into your life. 
I feel like this person left a connection on a whim. It was like a very fast decision. Something ended very quickly. Mm. If it was a ghost, it was that like, you know, quick decision. <sighs> but, but let me just tell you one thing. You know, I think this person on some level also wanted to be free. If it was a new connection, they just wanted to retain their freedom. They want to be free to like, you know, work or like, you know, work on their projects and not worry about another person. They didn't want to be free necessarily because they're a player. Because I know that, you know, don't fear the Knight of Wands. It's not a player every time, but it, it is like a hot headed energy. Someone has something to prove in the world. Someone who hasn't like proven themselves in the world in their mind. And it was someone who just, they wanted the freedom to do whatever they want and not be accountable emotionally to another person. If it was a more established connection, it was someone who, again, like they were, I think this person was fully aware how lucky they were to have you. They were like, oh, you are my lucky star, Gemini. But at the same time, it was kind of hard work for them to commit to something emotionally. It was like, you know, a difficult path. It was difficult to move this forward. You kept trying to move it forward. This person was hard work. Um, let's see, tell me more about the chariot here. This person was hard work. No, oh. but see, they love you. I don't know what is the matter with this person. It's like they love you, but they can't show their feelings. They have a lot of fears around feelings. They, maybe they gave you things like material things, but they didn't give you feelings. And actually this person worships the ground you walk upon, baby. They adore you. You're like a rare little flower to them. There's also a past life, a connection energy here, or someone who is a childhood sweetheart who became your, uh, you know, long-term partner, be it a, a marriage of 20 years or someone you were living with, something like that. But you're just kind of trying to like move it forward. And it was really difficult because this person was difficult to work with. Even though, you know, it was like their dream to be with you, they were difficult to work with. And maybe an argument caused a separation or a rift here. You know, suddenly something changed, you know, there's like, boom. And now they're like, oh my gosh, I'm living, <laughs> I'm living the nightmare now. This is like, I did not expect to fate to intervene in this kind of a way. I think maybe you kept giving this person many chances or they thought they had something on you. So maybe this person also has, because they're a hard worker, they have a lot of money, or they have a lot of something like status or fame or something. They're like, <laughs> Gemini's never gonna leave me because all these people, like, you know, all these people got their eyes on me because I got all the money. Gemini's not gonna leave. And you're like, you know what? Go, just go. The Gemini is not going to be manipulated in this kind of a way. It's like, <laughs> Someone's trying to, you know, manipulate the Gemini with the material when you were the genius. So it's like, you're always two steps ahead of people anyway. Oh, Gemini, I love you so much. This is why I love you so much. People don't expect us. Like, the, the Scorpio and the Gemini energy, like, it's we're like the Spanish Inquisition, but people don't even know because we're kind of cute. It's just like all kinds of things. All right, anyways. The uh, Seven of Wands. This person wants to come in. <sighs> You know what, there was a big fight here, by the way, is what I see. And this person's still angry about the fight, but they're still angry about whatever it was you couldn't come to like come to see eye to eye on. They're coming in on this energy of like, yeah, I'm gonna fight for the Gemini, but I got one more thing to say, Gemini. Just one more thing, you know, Columbo style, like <laughs> and another thing. Uh, and five of wands here, they are coming. Th look, give it five, five hours, five days, five weeks. If you're wondering if this person is going to reach out if you're not currently speaking or if there's a rift and you're communicating but communication is tragic it's going to improve but it's going to come on this like energy of fight so someone's coming in for a fight their intention is to uh, reach some kind of a compromise there's something you weren't seeing eye to eye on they want to reach a compromise but they're going to come in on fight energy so let's get some advice from my gorgeous gemini also gemini um bear in mind i'm just a random bimbo on the internet <laughs> and you know you should take everything i say with a grain of salt this is a general reading for the collective so you know just remember everything is all about the free will it's all about free will on this channel whatever you want baby is yours if you really want it let's see please show me some advice for my baby gemini <laughs> Oh my God, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with Scorpio as well. There could be Scorpio energy in this reading for sure, or a fire sign. It's just a fiery person. You got that queen of cups. That's why it could be a Scorpio, because Scorpios come across as fire. We're not, we're just fire, fiery water. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Queen of cups, this is your advice. I mean, this is love. Or is it, you know, this is your, this is a question for you. Is this true love? Is this how you envisage love for yourself? Is this how you want to be loved? Was this love fulfilling? Was this love lonely? 
Is there longing in you for this person still? You know, all those questions are really relevant to the situation for you right now. You know, how does this love fulfill you? Is this what love should be? And if it isn't, how can you make it so? I see potential here for sure. This is someone who has come into their karma, come to understand the mistakes that they made when it comes to your person. But you know, the question is like, how? then how do you make it work? this time around and do you want to even uh, accept their apology if this is someone who like you know started an argument and then ghosted or suddenly ghosted did something like that it was very rash something happened here it was like super rash or fiery so it's like i mean do you want to forgive this person baby is this how love should be oh boo boo gemini it's kind of true love though low key i'm kind of rooting for you because i feel like it's true love unless the person was evil and horrible then delete from database baby as always um my darling gemini thank you for spending your time with me today i'm always so grateful that you choose to spend your time with me if you uh, resonated with this reading, let me know in the comments below. And if you like my channel, you vibe with my readings, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button. And of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm.